Damien, which of these second year quarterbacks is going to make the biggest jump this season? <clears throat> You know, Laura, I'm going to go with Zach Wilson from the New York Jets. And you look at, you know, what happened, you know, what happened last year. You're talking about a rookie quarterback in Zach Wilson, rookie play caller in Michael LaFleur, and then rookie head coach in, in, in Robert Sala. And they're all coming back uh, for their second system. So being in the same system, same play caller. And then the bevy of weapons that, that's going to be surrounding Zach Wilson this year. You know, not only you have Elijah Moore coming back, Corey Davis is going to be coming back. You know, both those guys, you know, had injured plague seasons last year. But you also had Garrett Wilson, number 10 pick in the, in the draft this past season. Brees Hall, who you added, you know, probably the top running back in the draft out of Iowa State to go along with Michael Carter. Two new tight ends um, and C.J. Uzama coming over from the Cincinnati Bengals and Tyler Conklin from the Minnesota Vikings. So you're talking about a lot of firepower that's going to be surrounding Zach Wilson this year. And I think that's going to give him an opportunity to really showcase the skill set that to show why he was the number two pick overall last year. I mean, Damien, I mean, it's all you do. You ever just talk about the Jets. Everything's about the Jets, the Jets, the Jets, the future, the future, the future, the Jets, the Jets. I mean, you sound like people say I'm a homeboy. Oh, here, here we go pages? again, just Lou. That, okay? Here we go again. Just remember that. Just remember them, where you were drafted and where your roots actually are. Okay, yeah, you can give him props. <laughs> Moving on. Let's, we're not talking about him anymore. Let's talk about the guy who's really going to make a jump because he's really starting from, a, from negative zero. He's, he's, he's starting from below zero as, uh, compared to what it'll be in 2022. Look, Trevor Lawrence, I think the Jacksonville Jaguars really did him a solid by getting Doug Peterson in the fold and having him as someone that can guide this young man and provide him with some adult competent guidance at the quarterback position, which is something he did not have at all last year. He was the only adult in the building last mm. year. This year, he has someone who has tutored a young quarterback to that, that people attach high expectations to. When you talk about providing him with weapons, first they fortified the interior of this offensive line, starting with the signing of Brandon Sheriff and unrestricted free agency. They got him a tight end in Evan Ingram, who, if he can stay healthy, is as good of a matchup problem as anyone in the NFL. They signed Christian Kirk in unrestricted free agency, and I know people are going, come on, man, Christian Kirk, look at what they paid him. You know they overvalued him, but look, him, Zay J Jay Jones, Marvin Jones, LaVisca Chenault, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good wide receiver room right there. I think this young man, based upon my experience with him and talking to him last year, and what he is now going to be subjected to in terms of the quality of coaching and utilization that he will have coming from Doug Peterson. I think you will see him take a tremendous jump, and all of us will be saying, ah, mm. that's why Mel Kuyper was saying right. he's one of the best prospects <laughs> since he scouted John Elway. That's Ooh. why. I think you will see that happen for him Ooh. in 2022. Lou, Damien just did what, you know, everybody up in New York does. They just, you know, talk about the Jets and forget <laughs> about teams like the Jaguars <laughs> in Florida. With Trevor so Lawrence, a generational <laughs> prospect who did everything right before look, look, the, start what, of the what season he... when Urban Meyer did everything he could to tear him down. You know what I mean, Lou? Yeah. Yeah, look, what look, there's no question. Damien is a New York Jets homer. He knows he is. That's right. I see his tweets. I see his Twitter handle. I see That's everything right. that he says about the Jets. Be Woody, it's it's kind of like, I mean, it's kind of like, dang, Woody. <laughs> Uh, Laura, I'm bored over here. You see how they're trying <laughs> to attack snoozing. me and everything? I'm bringing, I'm bringing number facts to the table and they're trying to attack me. It's all good, though. Hey, it's all good. Listen, the here's facts. another fact, guys. No one mentioned Mac Jones making that jump. It, he was so good last season. He posted the second highest completion <laughs> percentage and fifth most pass yards by a rookie in NFL history. This guy, now listen, some people are like, oh, well, the ceiling's already where it is. This guy has a chance to make a really big jump, especially if they figure out who the offensive coordinator is going to be. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.